What's up guys? It's Megan. I'm back with another video today and today I'm going to be talking about my Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour review. I did the Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour in March of 2018. It was a gift that was given to me. My brother, thank you Patrick, was um, trying to think of just different Disney gifts to get me for Christmas and he just said let me get her a gift card so that she could pick whatever tour she wanted to do. So I did a lot of, a lot of research on which tour I wanted to do because I wanted to really get my money's worth. I have an annual pass, so I was able to get a discount on my tour. Um, my mom went with me and we did the Magic, Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour on a Tuesday, I think. Um, it was during spring break, so I tried to pick it strategically so that it would be on a more busy day because Actually, in the in the tour, you get to ride three different rides, and you sort of bypass. You get a fast pass um, with your tour to ride the three attractions. So I'm going to be talking about my experience and sort of if it was worth it. My brother originally bought me a gift card to do the Keys to the Kingdom tour, and that is a five-hour tour where you go around the Magic Kingdom, you go behind the scenes, you go down to the Utilidors, and that's still something that I would really love to do one day. I think it is definitely worth it for people who have annual passes. It's not worth it, in my opinion, to go on a tour if you have to buy the admission to the park and then buy the tour. So if you do have an annual pass, it's totally worth it. The Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour, I think, is $49 plus tax. And then I had gotten a 15% discount with my annual pass. When I was doing research on the Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour, I saw a lot of people saying that they went behind the scenes in the Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion is my favorite attraction in all of Walt Disney World, so I was trying to find as much information as I could on YouTube, through the internet, on discussion boards. I was just trying to gather all this information before I decided to spend so much money on a tour. There are no videos out because you're not allowed to take videos backstage. And there were so little video, so little videos of the tour itself. I found like one or two videos and there were no reviews. So that's why I'm going to do this review. <laughs> I have read so many books about Walt Disney. I love reading biographies and I just love the history of the Walt Disney Company. And I liked learning so much more about Walt on this tour, which is what this tour really is. It's more information about Walt. Um, how Magic Kingdom was developed, Main Street, you go through, you know, some of the different lands and you learn a lot of history. And if you like the history of the Walt Disney Company and Walt Disney himself, then you should totally go on this tour. You can't buy the tickets online. You do have to call the reservation um, line through the phone. And I was able to secure our reservation. You definitely want to call in advance. I do think some of them sell out. Um, I would say there was probably 15 people in our tour group. So when we got there, it was supposed to rain all day. So we were really disappointed, but we lucked out. It only started to rain once our tour was over. But we got there. We had to leave the house really early, our condo that we were staying at. And we had to be at Magic Kingdom in the town square at 7 45 and I don't know about you guys but when you stay off property it takes forever to get to Magic Kingdom so we had to leave our condo at like 7 o'clock in the morning and it was like right when the time had changed we fell we went forward an hour so we lost an hour it was so dark it was so hard to get up but I was so excited and when we got to Magic Kingdom they gave us this name tag and it said Megan because that's obviously my name um, and it was really sweet to have this as a souvenir I know for the keys to the kingdom tour they give you a pin a little key pin so hopefully one day I'll still be able to do that but we also got a water bottle and so we took that water bottle with us we got a headpiece and if you haven't seen my uh, vlog about the tour I have some video um, I didn't want to show all of the video to ruin the tour for some people, but if you guys are interested, I have a lot of video that I didn't post, so if you're interested, 
I can definitely post more. Just let me know. Well, we had a tour guide. Her name was Megan as well. I think she was an amazing tour guide. Uh, she was funny and we I felt like we just got so lucky with our group and for some reason no one wanted to really be in the front so I just kept walking right next to her and I was trying to get all the, the video because we had these little earpieces where you could hear her talking but you couldn't hear her talking into the camera so I tried as hard as I could to get some good sound from what she was saying. We but started going down Main Street and we learned so much about the history of Main Street, how Main Street was developed, how when you move through Main Street, you sort of see the progression of technology and you see horse and buggies, but then you also see cars and you see gas lamps change into electric lamps. And then we got to the castle and we saw a proposal. So that was just like the most magical moment. More about Mickey and Walt. And then we started moving into Liberty Square. And then we made our way to the Haunted Mansion. And this was definitely by far my favorite part of the whole tour. If you love the Haunted Mansion like me, you need to do this tour. You go into such depth about the history and the making of the Haunted Mansion. The queue, you go behind the scenes. You talk about all of the, the headstones in the queue, the interactive queue the song Grim, Grim Grinning Ghosts and you just talk about the creators and the Imagineers of the Haunted Mansion. Megan, our tour guide, had us keep our earpiece in while we were on the Haunted Mansion and in the stretching room so that she could give us more facts about the ride while we were riding it. And after we got off the Haunted Mansion, we took a little bathroom break in the Rapunzel bathrooms and then we went backstage. This was so amazing. I, I know that people don't like to think about backstage at Disney because it ruins the magic, but that's just part of the magic to me. Um, it just, whew, it was so cool. We got to go behind the scenes in the Haunted Mansion. We went into the dining room scene with the characters that were um, being reflected onto the actual scene. So we were underneath the track of the Omnimover. We had to be really quiet because the ride was still going on. Um, it was just, oh, it was so cool. Do the tour for any reason, it would be that reason. And I would highly suggest and encourage people to do this tour just because of that fact that you get to go behind the scenes I loved it so much. We talked a little bit about It's a Small World, and then we moved over to Fantasyland, which obviously is a small world, isn't it? About Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and then we went on Winnie the Pooh, the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. So I think it was like a 50 minute wait or something, and we actually just sort of slid into the fast pass lane. We were able to ride it. This was, a ride that we didn't have our earpiece in or we didn't need to have our earpiece in for and we just really enjoyed the ride. She had us look for some of the things that she talked about and had us learn about through the technology that they use in some of the rides and then you could also see when you go into Owl's house that there is a photo if you're going into Owl's house sort of back to the left hand side there's a portrait of um, Mr. Toad handing Owl the deed to his house. And then we ended up walking through Tomorrowland. We talked a lot about Tomorrowland and the People Mover and the World's Fair. And then we rode the Carousel Progress. And the Carousel Progress was also another ride that Megan, our tour guide, had us keep our earpiece in for. She talked to us about the ride um, throughout the whole show. I don't know how everyone else feels, I love the Carousel Progress. It is not a boring ride as what a lot of other people think. I know the Disney people, uh, like me, love <laughs> the Carousel Progress and the history behind it and, you know, it's Walt's creation. And so many hidden Mickeys in that last scene and it's just so fun to look for. I It has the fastest hidden Mickey on property. I would highly recommend anyone to do this tour. It was so amazing to learn more about the history, the setup of Main Street, how much effort and thought went into the creation of the Magic Kingdom and Main Street and to learn so much more about Walt. If you love the history of the Walt Disney Company and Walt Disney 
this is a must do for you. If you love the Haunted Mansion, this is a must do for you. If you guys have any questions about the tour, I would be happy to answer them. Please just leave them in the comments below. I am hoping to do more tours in the future. My mom and I would really love to do behind the scenes tour. I would at some point like to do the Keys to the Kingdom tour. I'm hoping that my boyfriend would like to do that with me one day. I was so happy to take the tour and I know that there's not a lot of information about it out in the YouTube universe or in the discussion boards. So please give me a heads up if you want to ask a question. If you guys want any more video, I have a lot of video that I didn't use in my vlog. So please check out my video, the Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour and have a magical day guys. I post videos like this all the time. If you love Disney, please consider subscribing to my channel. Have a magical day.